I was trying to do a video <laughs> where I was all cute <laughs> and I was feeling good <laughs> and God said no I'm gonna have something up different with you right now I was in my praise and worship and I was like Lord lead me to what you want me to say to your people you know, I've been going back and forth about them between like, do I say a message? Do I do garden and stuff? Do I say a message? Do garden and stuff? Princeton, close the door, please. Close the door, Princeton, and close and turn that down, please. And um, you know, I'm not gonna let the enemy distract me from getting this word out. <laughs> um, <laughs> and uh, it was so intense. Because he led me to uh, scripture Leviticus, and and I read it, and I was like, okay, this is a bit much, you know, for me to do in my first video, you know. <laughs> so I walked, and I just turned from it, and I went somewhere else, and he was like, no, <laughs> that if I showed you this, and you didn't share it, <laughs> that you would carry the burden for not sharing it. <laughs> And so I said, okay. <laughs> I mean, this is kind of a, a touchy thing to go into right off top. And my gospel song was speaking to me. God was speaking to me. <laughs> and I just feel like I'm not <laughs> going to be disobedient by not doing this right now. So, <laughs> and the way it touched me and the way I can't control not crying right now is just hard. <laughs> Because I feel like I have to say this to someone. I don't know who this is to. Um, I do know who it's to. Actually, it's more of a nation thing. <laughs> and uh, first, um, he led me to Leviticus 20, 21, chapter 20, 21. And then after I had my moment of being like, I'm not going to talk about it. <laughs> This is a bit much. He took me back. And then he led me to Leviticus 19. Uh. It's tough for me because in my world, in my field of career, this is <laughs> real present. So, oh. You got my machine guy. <laughs> I was not ready for this. <laughs> when you say use me, Lord, who? I wasn't ready for this. <sighs> okay, so first I'm gonna say the song that I listened to was So Will I and Do It Again. <laughs> the theme, the, the word that was in the song that was said, um, if you gave your life, if you gave your life to love, then so will I. <laughs> and I took that as you, you him saying to me, you will have to say, so will I. <laughs> So me doing this is me saying so will I. Uh, God said he would do it a hundred million times. You're the one to never leave anyone behind. And he said this to say that I'm telling you to do this because I will not leave anyone behind. God, <laughs> this is a tough, this is wow. I was not ready for this. Um, Hasten me to penalties for sinning. Uh, a nation persisting in abominable practices. 
will experience destruction. Leviticus 19, an unnatural affection, homosexuality. right on that. <laughs> he won't let me turn the page. <laughs> uh, what he did, what he took me to first, it was a lot. It was a lot in this small matter of minutes. Um, he wants Israel to follow the Lord. Uh, keep God's statutes. Because there's penalties for sin and more penalties for law breaking he took me to everything and you know I feel like I think this, the hardest for me was that most of the time that you hear God and you hear people talk about God they talk about him from a place of just you know okay do better don't do this you know do more of this but never this extreme. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Wow. He said, be righteous in your dealings. <laughs> Keep your strains pure. These are the laws concerning personal conduct. Homosexuality again. I'm gonna read what I highlighted. <laughs> a lot of this happened very fast in the matter of minutes. I promise you, like between two to three minutes, I got all this <laughs> downloaded. And it hit me so hard. I think I'm about washing get it. <sighs> okay. Scripture states that homosexual behavior is abomination to God. Such perversion of God's plan for marriage. Where is the image of God? Distorts the one as God intended in the sexual union between a woman and man. And devise childbirth. Thereby eventually I'm sweating y'all can't make this up right now <laughs> the level of I'm trying to get this out right now I should get it at the end of the time of myself kill my flesh so that I can speak your word Lord Ooh. Oh, God, I don't know who is this for in such a way. Uh, eventually terminating the generations. In the whole testament, homosexual behavior, which includes lesbianism, was forbidden, considered unclean, and was punishable by death. Paul state that, states that this defiant behavior, which is the antithesis of God's design, falls under the judgment of God. God offers the individual who has participated in this sinful lifestyle mercy and forgiveness. But homosexual acts are an abomination and cannot be tolerated by a holy God. Although some have claimed that homosexuality has roots in genetic mutation, there is no substantialized proof of this. God will not create a person predestined to condemnation. <laughs> okay, I can do this. <laughs> I don't understand. Them. I feel like this right now. I'm just going to go with this stuff. Both the Old Testament and the New Testament eliminate the possibility of 
excusing homosexual behavior for a biological reason. In the Old Testament, the creator of all life charges that no one caught in the act of homosexuality can blame anyone other than him or herself. He cannot blame the creator. In the New Testament, God indicates that homosexuals can change and are not trapped by their genetic makeup. Even if a case could be made for some sort of genetic predisposition toward an aberrant behavior, this cannot remove moral responsibility nor make such behavior right. All human action is subject to the individual's will. If you make your own will subject to God's plan for your life, any type of behavior can be changed. For anyone who has engaged in homosexual behavior, God's forgiveness, grace, and mercy are always available. <sighs> really? My first little made-up video here is trying to be <laughs> the good Lord said, no, I'm about to cry and get up here. <laughs> um, but that's my team. No, do this my team. He first took me to the 20 and 21. Uh, this entire chapter reinforces unwavering, ob unwavering obedience to God as an indication of a holy life or a life set apart to God. much i don't know but i need to scare everybody off my channel <laughs> with this <laughs> they about to be like and next video <laughs> but he said say it he said say it he said do it because he refuses to leave anyone behind <laughs> and he would do it a million thousand times <sighs> man <laughs> God loves us God loves someone who's watching this so much right now <sighs> he wants you to whatever it is it's gotta it's gotta stop it <laughs> and I think he wants you to understand the urgency he wants us all he wants me to understand what he means God is a good God, but a God that doesn't play. <sighs> he really don't play. <laughs> um, I'm gonna read <sighs> Leviticus 20, chapter nine, let's start there. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna start from seven. Keep God's statutes. Sanctify yourselves, therefore, and be ye holy, for I am the Lord your God, and ye shall keep my statutes and do them. I am the Lord which sanctify you. For everyone that cursed his father or his mother shall be surely put to death. And he hath cursed his father or his mother, his blood shall be upon him. And the man that cometh adultery, commitment adultery with another man's wife, even he that committed adultery with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer and the adulteress shall surely be put to death. And the man that lieth with his father's wife hath uncovered his father's nakedness. Both of them shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. And if a man lie with his daughter-in-law, both of them shall surely be put to death. They have wrought confusion, their blood shall be upon them. If a man also lie 
with mankind as he lieth with the woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. And if a man take a wife and her mother, it is wickedness. They shall be burnt with fire, both he and they, that there be no wickedness among you. And if a man lie with a beast, he shall surely be put to death, and ye shall slay the beast. And if a woman approach upon uh, unto any beast and lie down there too, thou shalt kill the woman and the beast. They shall surely be put to death, their blood shall be upon them. And if a man shall take his sister, his father's daughter, or his mother's daughter, and see her nakedness, and she see his nakedness, it is a wicked thing, and they shall be cut off in the sight of their people. He hath uncovered his sister's nakedness, he shall bear his iniquity. And if a man shall lie with the woman, having her sickness, and shall uncover her nakedness, he hath discovered her fountain, and she hath uncovered the fountain of her blood, and both of them should be cut off from among their people. And thou should not uncover the nakedness of thy mother's sister, nor of thy father's sisters, for he uncovered his near kin. They shall bear the iniquity. And if a man shall lie with his uncle's wife, he hath uncovered his uncle nakedness, they shall bear the sin, their sin, and they shall die childless. And if a man shall take his brother's wife, it is an unclean thing. He hath uncovered his broken brother's nakedness. They shall be childless. <sighs> Adultery, incest, homosexuality, <laughs> and bestiality were subject to the death penalty. The laws of the Israelites took sacredness of marriage very seriously. I'm crying <laughs> for someone else. I'm crying. People, I know a lot of people that have dealt in this. And um, this is what God wanted me to, to dive into. And um, why? I don't know. <laughs> Penalties for sin and a nation persisting in abomination practices will experience destruction. And I must say, I live here in America, but we are doing too much. <laughs> really doing too much <laughs> we're doing too much too many things is being said okay and it's not and uh, if we don't get it together we are leading in the path of destruction I don't want my people people that I know, people that I love, people that I don't even know, I don't want them to be destroyed for this. And maybe no one is telling you. Everyone's saying it's okay. It's okay. But he's telling you. Right here. <laughs> Leviticus, look at yourself. I don't have to, if you don't believe me, look at it yourself. 
Leviticus 19 to 21. He's telling you what he's going to do. And I know God to be a God that does not lie. His, boy, his word never goes void. He keeps his word no matter what. this right now take the time give your life back to Christ I know it's not easy I know it's hard I've had so many of my share of of difficulties and things that I've had to grow past and work through and fight through and pray through I think I'm about my share today it's not easy it's not easy when the flesh wants to take over. It's not easy when the flesh says, you want this so bad. <laughs> it's not easy when everyone else around you tells you it's okay. But you know deep down inside, something is saying it ain't right. <laughs> you don't have a complete wholeness of it. You never feel complete with it. says his abomination um, the one that stuck out to me the most that I've been able to see about these things um, is terminating the generations God said be fruitful and multiply natural affection in the same sex or with your kin, a family, friend, or something like that. And gosh, I don't even can't even wrap my mind around bestiality. But oh, Jesus. I pray over you right now. I pray over anyone that's feeling this, going through this, know someone that's going through this. Witness this, I pray over you and I ask that the Lord covers you. I pray that the Lord gives you strength to walk away. I pray that God gives you everything you need to fall into his will. I ask that you repent. You ask God for forgiveness.
today uh, is December. I kind of don't know my day right now. I really don't know the day. <laughs> this is terrible. Um, I think today is December uh, 6th or 7th. I really should know today, but I don't know what today is. But it's a Sunday, and it's in December of 2021. This message finds you well and this was not uh, what I thought I was going to talk about uh, for my first uh, made up video be blessed like really be blessed love y'all <laughs> um, I really do and so will I that's all I keep hearing this song play in my head <laughs> is that so alive I will <laughs> but there's no one else to say it Lord so will I <sighs> I'm gonna have to <laughs> really pray after this because I was not expecting this. I was not ready for this. But when you say, Lord, use me, He will. <laughs> I said, Use me. Peace and love to you guys.